Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you a really fun Warwick top lane build that consistently keeps your R up. You do this by going for the experimental hex plate. It's only 3,000 gold. You get the AD and attack speed, which synergizes well with Warwick, because of course our Q scales off of AD by 120% or 167%, which is kind of crazy. Then we get the attack speed, synergizes well with the health, and then 30 ultimate ability haste. That is massive for the early game. And on top of that, after casting your R, you get even more movement speed and attack speed for eight seconds, which is pretty good. For your runes, take lethal tempo, presence of mind, alacrity, last stand, revitalize bone plating with attack speed, movement speed, and health. I will say, if you're up against a ranged character, always go second win. Second win is cracked for melees versus ranged. I'm up against Darius. Also, don't go barrier if you're against a low damage champion like a tank top. Just go barrier if you're up against a high damage top like a Darius. We could try to tango, auto Q. What did he start? Oh, he started that. I still have my barrier though. It's whatever. It's gonna close fight, but he flashes away. It's it's a close fight. If he were to ghosted and kind of play it slower, I think it's actually harder if he takes Q and he burns ghost. But uh, not bad outcome for us. We got his flash. We'll probably invade the enemy jungler with our jungler here. So we have full top prio. Darius is incredibly low. He doesn't have D shield either. We get point in W. He needs to take damage since we didn't have a point in W. We're not actually getting the movement speed bonus into him. Auto Q. Auto. He got blood sent on the mid now. He's two. He might even go hook here if he's crazy. He tries to heal off me. Get a point in our E. I'm level 3 now. Auto into Q. Got it. Didn't take a turret shot either. Nice. I might get ganked, but this guy's so low. I'm so tempted to dive him. He has no hook. I forgot my minions won't help me. <laughs> Once your minions touch turret, they literally won't help you no matter what. His minion just did a weird move. I'll go see what Briar's up to. Get a word down right here. I still have my potion. He doesn't have his flash. He's trying to hook me into the turret, of course. I know he wants to get me when I go for that minion. I can help a Moomoo on Scuttle. I don't think this is... Like, he is pushing to me, but... Yeah, I can help a Moomoo. I got a Blood Scent to run with. I We can fight this for sure. I have my W. Got W active, that's move speed and attack speed into her. We'll auto Q. We go through it, get the fear. Yeah, she's dead. Well played to her. Ideally, I get the kill there, so I get double buffs, because Moomoo already has double buffs. <clears throat> I gotta go grab that top wave. If Darius fights me, he loses. I'll pop potion. Alright. We'll save Q when we can only reach with autos. Or just to go through his thing. Maybe I do lose that there. If a Moomoo didn't come, there's a good chance I lose that. Maybe because he's level 4? And maybe because he gets off first auto because he's in bush. That might be it. Kind of crazy. Whew, man. I kind of need to reset. <clears throat> the wave's in a weird spot. I don't want to have to stay. Warwick does push pretty slow as a whole. We'll max Q first, I'm thinking. W max first is really good against melees. That would be good too. You can't go wrong with either. All right, we got the wave pushed. We're out of here. First item back. You have Bork. You have Stride. You have Experimental Hex Play. Those are your three options. I'm thinking Experimental Hex Play. That's why I want to show you guys this game. Pick up Tunneler plus Boots. I'll even pick up a Control Ward. Psych. <laughs> I thought about it. Ezreal, no Boots. Moo just needs to keep full clearing. Invading Briar is a bad idea. He can't fight Briar at all ever. Even if he's 10k gold up on her, she'll solo him. He would have to have Ignite to ever solo her, and even then. Moo just needs 6, so we win the game. My barriers is up. I, I still probably lose against Briar Darius, same time. Their damage is high. Alright. Q through, got our Eon. You don't normally want to E this early. 
We get him with an auto walk away. I don't want him to full stack passive. That was a pretty good trade for us. His bleed stacks are down. We win this hard. I have flash. Wasn't quite sure how much damage is going to come through. So yeah, we, we timed out his bleed stacks. Bleed stacks fall off way faster than lethal tempo stacks do. Lethal tempo stacks fall off one at a time. And before they even start falling off, it's still a longer duration. So he ran out of bleed stacks. that still had lethal tempo. We go back in. He thinks, oh, I'm six Darius. I win this fight. Not realizing his bleed stacks just fell off and I still have lethal tempo stacked. Go ahead and cue that for the heal. Autos heal us a lot when we're low on health. Half health they heal us and then a quarter health they turbo heal us. But our Q always heals us a, a good amount. Our Q applies on hit effects as well, such as our passive, Bork, Titanic. R applies on hit effects three times. Gotta thin this out. I'm missing a lot of health here, which makes this fight kind of hard. Plus, he has minions. Auto, Q, auto. Wait, he doesn't actually have R. Why would I not fight this? I cancel his auto. Auto, Q, auto, R. I'm only doing this since Darius doesn't have R. If he had his R, I wouldn't have done that. I'm going to leave this wave where it is. I can leave it pushing into me. He has four more minions than me, which is the golden standard for a true permafreeze. So we know this is going to come to us. It's really obvious in this case as well because the the lane's pretty the wave's pretty centered on the center point of the lane. Like even if it was right here right now and oh my next wave's going to reinforce sooner it wouldn't matter because this wave's killing so fast. In fact it's killing so fast that it's almost going to crash. I'll, I'll be able to catch it here. Getting close to experimental hex plate. Before fighting all into the death as long as you're not in combat with enemy champions you can use your W active. Which, of course, gives you the movement speed until you take damage from an enemy champion. And it gives you the attack speed bonus, which you, which persists even after you take damage from an enemy champion. I have a big wave here. This is a bad time for me. I'll W, though. He's pinched. I'm going to lose a lot of minions on this. Focus the Darius, I think. Auto Q through. Got my E down. Auto E. I mean, it's worth for two kills that I miss like, 12 minions whatever Amumu R is huge once Amumu gets a 6 if he's not behind that's what makes that character so scary it's just against the good junglers they will put Amumu behind by invading him auto cute presence of mind is pretty good I like it a lot we've already gotten 500 mana from it which is good for Warp since Warp doesn't build any mana whatsoever really ever you would think Mana Moon would be good on him since it's on hit, but Mana Moon is an item just too expensive for most champions to build. I want to hit that turret, and he knows it. Oh, he doesn't want me hitting that turret. He's a rude dude. We got the plate, though. Briar's bot side. This is blue up. Oh, it is. Maybe I can take this. I don't think he'll stay for play. If he does, I can probably kill him. Auto Q auto. We need to get this half health for our W to kick in. Whenever any type of enemy is below half health, get a huge attack speed bonus. And then when it's below 20% health, it, that attack speed bonus goes two times 2.5. So I do lose pretty much a whole wave. I get blue. Maybe worth. Big maybe on that one. Come back for my hex plate here. I'll do that. I think he probably back too. I don't mind going for Swifties. Swifties and Lucids are both good. I think Swifties as a whole are a little overtuned. Lucids took, I believe they took a nerf this season compared to last season, if I remember correctly. Swifties get us to where we need to be. Pretty much every comp has slows. Darius has two slows. Milio has a slow. Silas has an AoE slow. Even technically Briar maybe on her push. Got it with the Q. We could R to get to him. We're so far ahead, it wouldn't be bad. Normally, you save your R and your E in fights to the death, like hardcore fights to the death, until you're really low on health to maximize your passive healing. It's just... Uh, that's not necessarily what we always have to do, especially if we hard win the fight.
We could definitely die of him. But the wave, like, we don't have to is the thing. He's behind. He's not even worth 300 gold. Since these heal so much after you kill one of them, I accidentally just wasted my E. Since they heal so much, it's actually better just to focus one, one at a time. Because they get back a load of health. Even if it's almost dead, it gets back basically full health. So just banging them out one at a time is actually more efficient. I think they did that to balance out. They didn't like champions like Hecarim taking them too quick. We'll W, reach him with R, can't reach him with autos. We'll auto Q reset, auto Q reset, get the fear. Oh man, it's Moo Moo. He's taking my kills. We can kill Darius here. Darius doesn't have TP. Moo's got nothing to do. Other than wait to take my kill again. It's perfect. So I don't want to make it too obvious. So I'll just stand here. I got about 8 seconds. I need to start transitioning over a little bit. Stand right here. Try not to make it super obvious. If I had a ward, I would go and lay it. I mean, we shouldn't have shown there. That was a mistake. That's fine. We got credit for that plate still. Auto Q auto. Darius is missing wave after wave. I really need a ward to lay here. I'm surprised Darius. We're only one level up on Darius when he has five deaths and less CS. Good grief, right? Where's my XP advantage? I'm turbo omega fed and I'm the same level as my mid who's zero and one. What's going on here? I want that plate. He's gonna hook. <gasps> He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I can back for a big piece of Bork. The biggest downside to Bork is it doesn't give you HP, so if you do get ganked, you might die. <laughs> is he actually chasing? What a crackhead. I should use W before you entered the bush. That's my misplay there. Get him with R. He's going to R me. That's a double fear. Auto, 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 Q. I'm going to just do a flash away. He might flash with me. I need a time. The thing is, I needed to time out his bleed stacks. He had too much health. They get my shutdown, but at least we get mid turret. I think I got his flash and ghost, not entirely sure. My biggest mistake there is right as Silas was gonna enter bush, assuming mana wasn't an issue, we should have W'd, get the initial attack speed bonus against him. Auto Q auto rip him up. Not getting that down was my undoing. Got a blood scent bot side, it's a fat blood scent. The Ezreal flash. I mean, Darius doesn't really have R or anything. He shouldn't be that big of a threat here. Oh, he got Ezreal. Nice. Ah, he's gone. Whatever. I don't need these last hits. Auto Q through, get into fear, save R for a moment, get the Milio. We can auto auto Q through, we go straight through his bubble there. We have maxed out lethal tempo. We might as well stay for this. Darius is pretty fed now. My team needs to be careful. <laughs> you got 900 gold. He's really three kills right now. Running out of mana. I would like a red buff. I'm not going to use my Q. I'm burning through too much mana. Hey, Briar. We're going to Q through that. Oh, she is just not going down. She misplayed. I think she accidentally R'd. We'll Q through. Ah, uh, we can't do it. I can't do it. I gotta leave. There's someone here. It's Silas. Yikes. Auto Q. 
Gonna leave my fear, my Eon for as long as possible for damage reduction. We're not gonna pop it early for just the fear. Auto Q. Nice. I still have Blood Scent too. Yeah, buddy. Go through the bubble with our Q. Nice, nice, nice. Same reason why Warwick counters Poppy so hard. Poppy's got triple displacements. Warwick Q makes him immune to displacements during the bite and swing through. Displ displacements being knocks, knockbacks, hooks. We need Harold. We can end the scam early. Warwick. It's not like he's worthless late game or anything, but he certainly doesn't get. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't have the same scaling as other champions. Let's just leave it at that. Why is Harold standing like that? He's already facing sideways. Drag up in 14. Guess we could play for that. I could grab Bork. I shouldn't need it for this fight. My team's far enough ahead. They have triple. Ooh. Could use W for this, I guess. Auto Q through. Down he goes. I'll use R to get to this guy. Do I have a straight shot on it? Nah, I can't get it. He's, he's moving really fast, even though I have Swifties. I'm going to back for my Bork. After Borking for the Porkin, typically Sterics for team fighting. Thornmel, in my opinion, is top five worst items in league of legends right now it's it's a really really bad item 350 health is not tanky guys it's one of the lowest hp items you can build that gives hp rileys gives 400 rod of ages gives well above 400 especially as it stacks uh i mean even cosmic gives 250 rocket belt's 300 right like these these aren't supposed to be tank items these are mage items thornmel's not a tank item auto q through Ezreal's kind of low. I'll go through his bubble. Unstoppable in R. I should have queued immediately. I, did, I think I just assumed his flash wasn't up. Got him with the bite. I had my barrier plus E, so I figured I could tank a bit while my fed backline just hits. Got a blood scent to follow here. Really should just go for Harold. All right, whatever. I'll leave. Wait, they're chasing me. All right, I'll turn on my E. Q through. Feared him out of the Warwick R. <laughs> yeah, Warwick R's not as good as the Malzor R. Hey, Emilio, flash Q through. You don't have. Why is he so fast though? I tried to Q through it. Is my Q on cooldown there? I need a movement to block this. Q auto auto. Nice, nice, nice. I have R. Poof. I don't have Q. Stay on top though. They're low. I feel like I'm going to get blocked. Yeah, I can't do anything there. Whatever. I'll just go for Harold. Ultimate is a 69 second cooldown. Even with a 30 ability haste, it's way too long. Should be 60 seconds at most. I've been playing like Malphite jungle lately, and I find Malphite R is substantially lower than even a Warwick R. And Malphite R is 10 times better since Warwick R can be canceled once he lands. Malphite R is also a displacement which cannot be QSS'd. Suppressions can be QSS'd. Not cleansed, but QSS'd. Or like GP oranged, right? Stuff like that. But this big old Malphite displacement. Doesn't matter if they have 1 billion percent tenacity and 500 QSS's. They are gonna eat a big fat knockout. War Q is expensive, yeah. I mean. War Q feels good max, but definitely against melee champs. Just go W max first. Q gets way too expensive. 90 man is a joke. It's more expensive than some ultimates. On a champion that doesn't even really build mana, it's kind of insane. Blue buff literally just killed me. <laughs> Punched me in the head. 
Wow, we got wrecked that fight. Darius wasn't even there. I basically held on to R for too long. I went in too early. I need to let Amuma be the initial engage when we're on the enemy side of the map. And Darius is just sitting on the split. After Stare, Extraxo is fine. Terminus is good, but you have to be ahead. They have a lot of kite tools as well. Loads of CC, Briar, Milio, Silas, Darius. I don't think we can rely on just auto attacking for this as our source of staying alive. That's why I'm going Sterix. Sterix or Jack Show. Did you have Sork Shoes? No Lethality. Some kind of magic resist would be good here. Darius is ahead in CS on me now. I'll, I'll clip him with a W. Oh, I think he got vision on me. Good with an R. Cool. Q through. I'm going to die here. Oh, nice. I didn't die. There's a bunch of stuff going on down here. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Figures. It's a one for one. Basically, what I should be doing right now is just being patient, grouping on objectives, and we win the fights by default. Chasing for kills is really high risk. Because enemies can be four man, five man stacked on it. Even though I'm kill fed, none of. I don't have a bounty or anything, so. Dragons up. This is a really good dragon to have since we have a tank on our team. Oof. Silas is about to get another kill. Oh, yeah, this is bad. We might even lose drag. Briar hits the R. Alright, I'm dead. Dude, I just got outplayed so hard. <laughs> I can't, I can't move. Since when does Briar do so much magic damage, though? She did about 400. Their team fight's too strong. If we don't have a Moomoo or we can't team fight. Moomoo doesn't win this. Doesn't he literally doesn't win it at all? Nice, that's a Rathar. So Briar has the Eclipse Shield, a bunch of magic resist, Sunder self heal. Moves only two full items. He doesn't have crazy burst with heal cut to rip through that. Zerath certainly has that burst. It's a big blood scent. Am I gonna die for it? Yeah. All right, I have to stop trolling. I don't know, dude. This game's so frustrating. Oh, they're always just stacked. Always. I actually have to be patient. It's easy to say that, and then you see someone low on health. Got a big blood scent. I want to get magic resist. I'm taking way too much magic damage. In fact, I'll sell. Well, selling the D blades kind of sucks, but I'll sell it. Whatever. All I'm going to do is follow around my teammates. We don't want to be caught on the split push. Briar's too mobile. It's too risky. Jerry shows up with ghost. Briar comes in with R. So I'm going to follow Mumu around because Mumu has to engage. It's going to be fun. Fun, 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 fun. Warwick's damage reduction is a measly 35%. Holy crap. Level 1, that's so low. Oh, I don't even have a warding thing. I'm surprised it lets you not have a 
a thing. They're completely stalling the game out. All we can do is try to take neutral objectives. There's two of them right here. I'm getting pinched hard. I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Well played to me. I need to just hide behind a Moo Moo, let him lead into things somehow. I don't know how I'm getting these fights so much sooner before everybody else. I didn't even use my W. I'll just sit on the split and wait. I should be able to solo any of them in theory anyways. I'm only ever dying because it's their whole team hitting me essentially. Their whole team are three or more people. Just go for Dragon. We let Zerath and them poke as they lead in. Silas is finding a pick. Silas is low. Dragon is a dragon though. We need to get to Zerath. Got him. We'll hit him with an R. I don't have Q. Both teams have so much damage, it's ridiculous how fast people die who are supposed to be tanky. Being tanky is such a farce in League. This is not a fight. There's no fight there. It's 3v3. I don't have our... They have base speed up. Base vision. Auto Q through. Got her with the fear. She just needs to die. Holy crap. <laughs> Her healing. Ezreal's still going for it for some reason. Got the Q attach. Got with the fear. And I cannot keep up. He's hitting me with red buff autos is a big part of it. I do have already heal here. Hmm. Thank you for Ezra feels greedy. I need to heal off of something like Gromp. I do have R. Guess they're just waiting for Draxel. They just they want to stall the game out. They certainly scale to a degree, but they don't outscale Zerath. Let's go for Jack Show. Need some dual resistances. After Jack Show, we could go for Terminus. At that point, we'll be pretty tanky. <coughs> we need some form of heal cut on somebody. Briar's healing a lot. Go ahead and W for this. Try to save Bran. Probably not worth it. Now I'm going to die. Yeah, it was not worth it. Auto Q auto. We don't have heal cut for Briar. Oof. Auto Q through. Do have my E. Auto E auto. Darius hit Q-Tipper. Did not think he had that there, but he did. Feels bad. Nice. Alright, not bad. Our mages are doing all the real damage. The enemies have so much CC, it's hard for us to even auto-attack. Too much CC. every game no one wants to ever build a hill cut like i'm forced to build on champions who aren't really supposed to build it i guess victor has some brand has some as long as they're hitting briar the thing is if they're not hitting her doesn't the hill cut doesn't really worth much problem for warwick is thornmill is a, the worst hill cut item in the game and it's just a terrible item in general. 
and then so you're like you're forced to go for a Kempunk Chainsword, which really does nothing for him. And you obviously can't go for Morello. The best heal cut items are for champions, the ones they can AoE apply against the enemy champs. Thornmail is not that item really. I know we win a team fight. We need an R from Amu and an R from Victor. <coughs> Someone right here. Oof. I'll just do it. Auto Q through. I got a double fear. Oof. Got the attachment to Darius. I am just getting chewed up by Briar. She's healing a lot. Seems to be enough to win the team fight though after Darius went down. Like I said, I think the our mages are realistically doing all the damage this game. I don't think it's me or Mumu doing the damage. The more magic, the more EP you have, the more damage you do against turrets. You can see that right there. His wrath breaks a turn like four autos. And that is GG's. Quite the mid game we had there. Good early, okay late. Mid game, not so much. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we actually had the most damage dealt in the game. I'm impressed because all I did was die. Although, quite a bit that game. <laughs> for damage taken, we took the most. And for self mitigated, we almost took the most. Briar was up 12 on us for damage taken. Uh, yeah, so if you count self mitigated, we didn't take the most damage in the game, is what it is. For runes high value, all in all, Wart top lane, pretty solid pick versus melees. You do have to be weary of his late game though, and you have to be extremely mindful of your tankiness and healing comes from your ability to auto, so if you're going to get chain CC'd, you're just not tanky. If you guys enjoyed this Warwick video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out a lot, and let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.